Well, welcome to uh, this uh, edition of Matt's Mates. And I've got three of my mates uh, here who actually live in Hobart. But we, we've uh, been working hard because there's a whole lot of people who have come to Hobart from around the world, particularly from Nepal is what we, we are focused on. And so uh, I've got uh, uh, Pastor Paul in the top left and uh, Dilip and Siraj. Uh, 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 Siraj is the associate pastor, Paul is the, the senior pastor of the Hobart Nepali Church and Dilip helps manage all the finances and is part of the leadership team. Uh, and we, we're really excited to have uh, moved into a partnership with uh, Samaritan's Purse who have donated uh, $30,000 over three, a period of three months and, and we've created a trust fund that has also had seen um, uh, over three thousand dollars in addition to that also come in so far uh, because there are some pretty significant needs uh, paul how many emails have you received asking for help from nepalese students and and families uh right now just i'm receiving nearly uh 60 65 uh, email from nepalese student but uh, we selected 30 people uh um this uh third project uh, second project so we've already sent out uh, we've already sent out to a number of families groceries and now we've got a, a second project we're about to launch into uh, yeah. Siraj what is this project we're, we're about to launch into with these 30 families and then there's a, a additional families with the extra money we're raising what, what are we doing yeah uh, just because uh, just all the people around the globe is affected by the COVID-19 just and also especially uh the Nepalese students, the international students, uh, they are not receiving the government assistance and uh, all the assistance kind of things. And uh, uh, they have lost their jobs and uh, they're just like a main source of incoming. That's why the church felt that uh, we need to just step and support them in this situation. That's why uh, we have just uh, provided them with some groceries, uh, maybe uh, like more than like 30, 35, 46 people, family, more than 46 family. And now we are starting this, uh, uh, the, summer, the next phase of uh, donation with the, working with the summer return first. It's like a 30 family at the moment. And also uh, we have the additional 3000 money, which we will be just distributing to others uh, family because we have been receiving the bulk of uh, email from the, the people who are in need. Uh, at the moment, we have uh, prioritized the, the, the 30 family uh, as a highly needed people because they came here like a three or four month uh, like in Tasmania, direct in, from Nepal to Tasmania. And uh, as soon as they came here, just uh, they uh, faced the lockdown situation. So they are just affected. Uh, uh, hmm. So they are affected by the COVID. Yeah. So that's why just we are providing the this second phase donation, especially to those people, like the thirty people are very highly categorized people. So I might actually share with uh, the people who are watching this um, some of the text from some of the emails. I won't put people's names in it just to give some sort of idea because there's a whole lot of people here in Hobart. Uh, who can't get government funding, but who are actually struggling to eat. Um, and so this is what this program is. Uh, I'm so grateful for the partnership with Samaritan's Purse and also people's generosity that has meant we've already provided over 40 families with rice and all kinds of things, but now yeah. we're more structured and long term. Dilip, how, how, how is this program being organised? How is it actually working? Uh, we have uh, already choose, uh, chosen 30, 13 people, volunteers to help to send vouchers to those people. And uh, it's been, uh, it, we will just uh, bring that in to implement uh, by this uh, 15th of the May. So the program will be starting from uh, 15th of the May. 
So my understanding is we've got so we've got 13 volunteers who once a fortnight will visit these students and families and we'll be able to give them a voucher for around 150 dollars yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah that, that can be redeemed at the local nepali grocery store and and also yeah. and also we're looking at a partnership for meat as well is that right yeah yeah so what we do, what we do is uh, we have talked with one of the grocery store Nipley's grocery street here, so almost all the groceries will be buying from them, and the rest of the bills uh, like petrol, electricity, and rent they will be collecting all the uh, all those bills from our for our behalf, and later on we will just uh, reimburse all those amount to them. Yeah. So this is really exciting and really important. I love this is the church stepping up to be people who are really at need. And and so, Paul, you're saying that we've, we've identified the 30 of the 60 or 70 emails of people in need. We've, we've, we've identified the 30 we think are most critically in need. Yeah. And so we are able to make sure that at least they can eat for the next three months. Mm, yeah. Now, this is all coming at a, a pretty big moment because, Paul, you're about to go on to um, uh, uh, parental leave uh, and, and uh, have your twins are due in, in a few days' time. Uh, and so that means, uh, Siraj and, and Dilip, you're going to need to be managing this program as well as the church and, and also everything else. Um, uh, for this, it's a pretty exciting time for the for the Nepali church. Just in, in passing, Paul, uh, how has the church been going in this while, while COVID nineteen's been happening? What's been happening for the church? Yes, uh, everything's going well uh, because this, uh, we use Zoom service, so yeah, it's all, everything is all right. And so every Sunday, just our our guest is from Nepal and come. Yeah, from mainline, and it's yeah. So, it's going well. so, yeah. so, so, um, we've had visiting speakers, Siraj, from Nepal and from the mainland, and, and yes, and, and, yes, and, yes. And so, you you were telling me that the number of people coming to church hasn't changed. In fact, it's grown a bit in the time. Yes, yeah, that's right. And very, just a lot of people have been just turning chums. And also those people who are away from uh, the Hobart, they're also joining with us. Yeah, and also the most of the people, our, our church people have actively, uh, they're working to the affected people. They have been just providing donation and help. Mm -hmm. and they're also uh, just uh, giving their time and effort to help such as the volunteers, you know, the people that they're volunteering to just uh, take the closer and stuff like that. So yeah, but pretty much yeah, the people are just very excited at the moment to help just needy people. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I just want to say I'm so proud of you guys. You, you're working so hard. The church is doing such a great job, and it's so encouraging that you can reach out and support at least these thirty most these 30 students and families most at need but we're also uh, pleased to be able to pr provide support for other families as well as more support comes into the trust fund we've established yep. so thanks for having this conversation thank you thank you very much thank you